Welcome back guys, this is Doodle Does and we are still on our Monster Rancher Marathon where we're training Little Gura, the Zilla, to beat the entire game in one sitting. We're currently like almost in five hours of streaming. Um, but let's see what we can do. So we were talking with chat uh, right before we turned on this sh uh, turned on this episode and we were debating on if we wanted a new technique or not. Uh, basically there's no more high accuracy techniques available uh, to learn but still uh, we might be we want maybe a move on the third or fourth row to get more move coverage uh, because sometimes we're finding that little Gura is just like walking around and not doing anything which is worse than uh, yeah which is worse than maybe actually performing an attack even though it's not the highest hit rate so uh, so to add what were you saying Looks like charge from the Papa Mountains would be the way to go, but we'd have to get another technique before it, or uh, charge. Unless you want the roll assault for slot four and you can get that in the desert. Charge has higher hit rate though. Yeah, I do want charge. So here's the deal, I see charge, but um, so that's the thing. So knocking up, knocking up is sharp, but in the range one, but I don't know, are, are we locked into getting knocking up first? Is that for sure a thing? If I, I, I'm guessing probably that's the case because knocking up has 19 guts usage and charge is 27. So maybe that is the case. Um, yeah, I really don't want roll assault, especially. So the reason why I don't, yeah, I guess I took priority. Yeah, right. But I don't want roll assault because we're always going to start the battle in the fourth range. And here, actually, I, I, I should like show this on the screen, right? Um, how do I do that? I can't really do that. There's not really a good way to do it. Oh, I know, I know, I know. Uh, game capture, then this. Okay, this is like kind of a cluster, but let me just show y'all real quick, yeah? Okay, so... Uh, yeah, it's, it looks really ugly on the stream, guys. Sorry about that, but just bear with me for a second. Um, so, yeah, anywho. So here, right? We're looking at charge, and we want this one for the third row, but we're not sure because knocking up is also another sharp move. And I'm not sure if this one comes before this one or if there's no particular order and it's just like a random toss up, right? I'm guessing this one's first because it's guts cost is less than uh, the guts cost of this one. So maybe we'd have to get two moves, but I don't want to de deviate too much away from but the move that we already have with high accuracy, I don't want to muddle up the first range just because I want third range. Um, with that being said, our other alternative besides getting this is to go into heavy or special. So a heavy move, probably we'd end up getting... Yeah, it's, it's roll assault. But if we do roll assault, we're always going to start the fight in, uh, in the fourth square, in the fourth column. Meaning that we're going to spend out, out the gate 21 guts on a low accuracy move that we'll probably miss. Um, so I don't want our AI to be locked into... But if, if Roll Assault hits, then we win, obviously, for sure. But it's just like so unlikely, especially because for the most of Zilla's techniques, uh, for most of Zilla's career, we're going to be lacking in the skill department. So if our skill's high enough, of course, yeah, we're going to definitely have it. Uh, on here, but it, it's not likely. Our our alternative is going into special. Um, but what's the first special? Body press, wave riding, title. Oh, they're intelligence based. Mm. Yeah, it would be here, but that's like not the range, so that's not a choice for us. So it's either roll assault for the coverage, or knock up and charge. Um, now the question is, are we? Because I don't want to waste too much of our monster's uh, lifespan anymore, you know? Okay, so now it's... Yep, I'm, I'm going to reach out one more time. I guess that prior to knocking up his first charge second. If rolls out, hits it. 21 gets isn't too high of a cost for an I win button, thankfully. Okay, that's what we're doing. Then we're going to go to the desert and we're going to get roll assault. For sure. All right. Thank you very much for the collaboration. That's fun. 
Let me go ahead and turn on the game capture thing again. So let's go ahead. Um, I'm going to perfectly train one week, rest in the fourth week so we can get into a new week. That's a new month with some good uh, rest. So I think we already fed him. Let's do some more training. Power, you're excited. Excellent. Jump it. Jump. Nah. All right, you got it, though. Power plus 15 so good. Absolutely good. I'm going to DM you the website I'm looking at. It's nice to look at, and the info is great. Cool. Yeah, so that. Really appreciate it. Okay. So we're going to have roll assault, huh? Just to get that coverage. Exciting. Exciting. Uh, thinking for a second. Yeah. Yeah, skill. Let me get that skill. Okay. Plus four. Really good. Seems well. Did I skip the nuts or the mint leaf? I think I did. I think I went too fast. Jump! Oh, you did it! <laughs> Dude, little good is the bomb. Oh my god, 664. Uh, level up on the power. It seems that little good did its best. Praise it. Yes, of course. You deserve a rest right before the air entry. That's going to hopefully, you know, actually, I'm assuming little good is going to actually get through this entire air entry and just uh, demolish whatever monster we face. Hopefully. Little Gouda as well. But I hope I don't speak too soon, man. Because there's some pretty powerful monsters out there in the wild. Uh, oh, right. Resting, resting. Cool. Let's go ahead and save before we forget again. Okay. I saved it several times. Yes, yeah, time to wreck the place for sure. It's really weird. I'm sending a whale to, like, the driest place ever. <laughs> so, little Gura, enjoy this rainy weather right now. Just stockpile, just camel some water, and uh, let's get it on. I'm going to stress relieve you a little bit before you get out there. Okay. Um, oh, Aaron Tree. Doodle and Miss Coat. All cost has gone back to 2000 G. Oh, little good is higher than B rank. Then, you can use any location you want. Please choose your location. Okay, well, we're going to Mandy for the heavy tech for the, uh, the roll assault for the move coverage, the range coverage. I think that there is some chance to acquire a new technique there. Are you sure you would like to send your monster to this Aaron Tree location? Yes. Yeah. There's a lot of defensive based monsters in here. I think we have a good matchup against all of these a lot of these people. Okay, let's see how it goes. Uh I'm expecting with like our super super high power, like we're gonna we're gonna beat these trainings, right? Like should be good. <laughs> Yo, little good, you're like half the size of the tornado, you got that one. But then the next one I'm not so sure. That's a big tornado. But that's also a very big whale to be like even that size comparison compared to the uh the tornado. Let's go. Okay. That's child's play. Of course, that that one I've I've only seen one monster fail that one. And we end up getting uh a new technique right after that. So, this air entry was a success. Yeah, good has this no problem. Tech. Surprising to find a camel that big. This month, uh, this world is really scary. One more tackle. I know you can do it. You just learned roll salt, right? So go ahead and just roll salt the <laughs> the camel real quick. Let's go. Let's do it. Oh. And then, yes, okay. 
this one actually ends up being a kind of difficult one sometimes for some monsters, right? Like, I've seen monsters fail the camel one quite a bit. Uh, what's the next one? Oh, this one is a this one's a killer too. Um, but we should be super strong. There, there's no doubt, no doubt. Yeah, dude, little Gouda just eat the rock. You're so huge. Oh my god. Dude, at this point, <laughs> little Guru is like shriveling up like SpongeBob style. Needs this water desperately. Come on, you need this water. Do it for the survival. Uh, okay, cool. All right, little Guru is fine. Phew. Phew, indeed. Plus 8 in power, plus 4 in life. We're actually almost able to level up in life as well. This one's a killer as well. And also, the size of our monster is so huge. Yeah, it's going to be kind of funny to look at this. Uh, don't, don't celebrate yet. How big is that monster? Dude, I feel like... Well, no, that antlion's pretty big. But I think we could probably... We could probably wrestle that antlion with our size. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Get up. Get up. You have so much power. You can do it, right? Do it. Oh, really? Are you joking? I, I'm, I'm absolutely surprised at that. Okay, well, anyway, we got the technique, so that it's a win for us. Seems pretty strong. Praise it. Yes. Great effort, but hopefully you're not injured, because you literally just got sliced up by an antlion. The antlion is a gatekeeper. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I'm going to check my power again. I forgot what the exact number was, but... Dude, really? That's insane. Uh, I believe we have not grown in size again. I think this is the same tier 2 size. We're looking for one more size up. Doodle, did you know the official tournament is at the end of this month? You have to prepare your little Gura to fight. Uh, yes, who is this? Hello, I'm back. Oh, it's you! How about going on an adventure with me to study the monster's history? Okay, okay, well, Doodle, your monster might get injured. Do you want to... No, I'm so tired right now. Hell no. I understand. You don't want it to get hurt, huh? I'm sorry, Dr. Talico, but we can't cooperate with you. Um, well then, I'm leaving for now. But I still want you to help me someday. I actually haven't gone on the adventure yet. I want to train a monster specifically for adventures. Because uh, if I want a monster to win a tournament or something, or like go far or farm money, uh, I don't want to like waste its lifespan on this stuff. Plus, uh, going on these ad adventures, you need to kind of like optimize for them, huh? What are these adventures like? I know. I'd be curious to go when I have a chance. Colt, I'll let you go sometime. Little Gouda seems pretty tired. Give it some rest. Okay, let's give it some nut soil. Dude, ah, uh, that ant lion, man. That's tough. Okay, um, let's see what move we have. I mean, it's sh dang, we had 693 power, dude, and we still failed that. I don't really understand how those percentages work. Um. Yep, there it is. Roll Salt with a D on hit percentage. Lower than any move that we have so far, but we end up starting the round, and if we land it, then we immediately destroy them with B Force. Yeah, that's our highest force move that we have. But with that being said, we just have to increase our accuracy, and then this is an okay move. Did we... I forgot if we rested our monster yet. Not yet, right? Yeah, it's first week, so we haven't. Aren't Jack of all trades great adventures? Adventures? You need that live power to destroy debris, intelligence for items, etc. Yeah, so I'm actually thinking maybe of like training a dragon or maybe a mochi zoom for uh, traveling and just do like no battle uh, prowess whatsoever, just like power, intelligence, life. So no skill at all. Just not even think about it, just take them on adventures. Um. Right. 
What other jack of trades? Actually, our uh, our uh, gel monster would be pretty decent at this as well. We're gonna train a little bit longer and then we'll end out this episode. Success, uh, two skill. Oh man, those small gains really hurt. Okay, let's go ahead and go to the shop. Welcome. What do you want to do? Sell that disc chip. And then I have four mint leaves. Okay. Let's just buy four nuts oils. Dang, I'm going to be staying up late. We're still at only B rank. When it gets to that final match, like, it's going to be tough. Okay. Pull. Cool stuff. This, uh, on this run, we're going to be uh, leveling up our power. I believe. Nice. Good one, little Gouda. Plus 15 on power and a double level up on power and life. Excellent. 708. Now I think power is also up to the next tier. Um, we're now at highest level of power training. Little Gouda seems to be in good shape for that big official tournament. But I'm not interested in it. Mint Leaf. Double level. Double rainbow. Good chompers. Okay, let's go ahead and try next... We're not going to do the official B, of course. Um, but we're going to go into this B rank tournament. So that's going to be next episode. Let's go ahead and keep training. And then we'll... Stop right before the next big tournament, yeah? Okay. Plus two, whatever, I guess. Man. You're so big! The way I'm keeping track of uh, Little Gouda's height is the height now is right below the window. So if it gets bigger once more, then I believe that will be the biggest size for Little Gouda. A little good it seems well. Give it that nuts oil. Bum, 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 bum. Okay. Sprint! No jump this time, no problem. Success. We got the skill we wanted, right? Yeah, yeah, we got the skill we wanted, 100%. 100%. And now we're going to get into a battle. Okay, mint. Oh, wait, no, we're not doing mint soup. We're going to do that soil. So I'm predicting that we're actually going to be pretty weak compared to the B rankers because now the strengths of the C rankers of being able to kill us and having higher speed or whatever is just going to be way more augmented. But uh, we'll just see how, how it goes. Maybe I'm speaking too soon. Guys, thank you very much for watching the 11th episode of our Monster Rancher Marathon. Uh, and yeah, hope to see you next time. Later.